Welcome back to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, I hope you're all doing well and staying positive. Today, we have some exciting updates regarding the Iraqi Dinar, so be sure to stick around until the end because there's a lot to cover, and you won't want to miss any of it. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video for more updates on the dinar and other financial news. Let's jump right into the buzz that's been making waves in the banking sector. There's been some serious chatter today, and it's all good news for dinar holders. Multiple sources from different banking institutions are reporting that new rates are being seen on the screens, and the rate showing is an astounding $3.57 per dinar. Now, I haven't been able to confirm this figure yet, but hearing the same number from three or four different sources is certainly something worth paying attention to. These are exciting times ahead, so let's see how this develops in the coming days. Speaking of major developments, there's also been an article that brings the Iraqi dinar's ready nomination back into the spotlight. This article focuses on the potential removal of zeros from the currency's nominal value. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let me clarify that we're talking about the currency's actual value we are not the physical bills themselves. Right now, the dinar is valued at about 0.00076 US dollars. If Iraq decides to remove three zeros from the nominal value, it could result in a significant increase in the value of the dinar. Imagine what that would mean for investors and Iraqi citizens alike. But that's not the only exciting news coming out of Iraq. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani recently outlined a plan to the US Treasury to overhaul Iraq's currency auction process. This is a big deal because it could completely transform how foreign remittances are processed in the country. Right now, only about 5% of Iraq's foreign remittances are managed electronically, while the vast majority are still cash based. Cash transactions come with risks such as corruption and the potential loss of funds. By the end of this year, the plan is to transition to electronic remittances. This could make the process faster, safer, and much more efficient. Just imagine Iraqi families receiving funds almost instantly, instead of waiting for days. This shift could be a game changer for many helping to reduce the risks associated with cash transactions while modernizing the entire financial system. Of course, there will be challenges along the way. Iraq's infrastructure for electronic payments still has room for improvement, and there will need to be public education efforts to ensure people know how to use these new digital platforms safely. However, if successful, this move could also attract foreign investments making Iraq's financial system more stable and appealing on a global scale. So what does all of this mean for the Iraqi people? Well, they can expect smoother transactions, quicker access to funds, and a safer, more reliable financial system. It's a significant step toward modernization and could inspire other countries facing similar challenges to follow suit. What do you think about Iraq's shift toward electronic remittances? Do you believe this change will boost the economy and improve everyday life? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Before we wrap up, don't forget to share this video with your friends and anyone interested in global finance. These are exciting times for Iraq, and we'll be following these developments closely. So, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date. Thank you all for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay positive, stay informed, and take care.